Hello everyone. I'm Sandy Anastasi, Psychic Channel, Intuitive Astrologer, and Soul Coach. And I'm here with my editorial video blog for May of 2024. First of all, my friends, I'd like to take just a moment to wish all of my readers who are nurturers a happy Mother's Day. You certainly deserve a wonderful day of celebration and an especially happy month filled with the love that you deserve coming back to you from those that you've given so much to. I promised that I'd spend a little time in this editorial talking about the planet Neptune. This is for non-astrologers, folks, so even if you're not an astrologer, keep listening. Neptune, seldom talked about in astrology circles or in even science. It's a, it's a planet we rarely hear about. And yet it's contributed in a big way to our changing world. And it's going to continue making contributions for some time to come. The planet Neptune is in the sign Pisces right now. And it's at a critical 29 degrees. In astrology, we consider the 29th degree of a sign the critical degree because it's the last degree before we move to the next sign. The 30th degree of a sign, you see, is the same as zero degrees of the next sign. And that makes the 29th degree, where Neptune is at right now, critical. Neptune in astrology is said to dissolve whatever form it's touching, leaving in its place that which is real and not illusion. Together, Pluto, in its 19-year transit of Capricorn, that it's just about finished with, and Neptune which has been in Pisces since 2011, are dissolving the old, unwanted aspects of the Piscean age that is just now ending. You see, these two planets working together are making way for the Aquarian age to truly begin. Neptune will continue to move back and forth across this critical 29th degree until March of 2025. That's right, almost, a, in fact, over a year from now. And then it will finally enter Aries for the first time. That's where it's going next, the sign Aries. It will have one final dive back into Pisces before the end of 2025, before it moves firmly into Aries where it's going to stay for quite a long time. Meanwhile, our new age of Aquarius will have officially begun. Oh my, I'm going to have so many things to say about those planets as they change signs during this coming year and a half. But for now, my message to you is simple. Buckle up. We are all going to be taken on a wild ride. No matter how much you may want to, you cannot keep your head in the sand any longer. It's time to wake up. Poke your head up and look at this amazing new world that's materializing quickly right before your eyes. Meanwhile, let's talk about Pluto for a moment. Pluto, who loves to dig deep down and expose anything that's foul and rotten, Wow, Pluto's exposing things now, isn't it? It's exposing nations and municipalities, businesses, health organizations, news media outlets, politicians, movie stars, sex rings, priests, even your own family members and your next door neighbor are being exposed for who they are and what they are right down to their souls. My advice? Keep your mind open, my friends, to what you hear, to what you read, 
to what you see, but always use your own common sense. Use your own intuition to search out the truth. Let that truth be your own personal guide. Remind yourself that when you're clearing your house and cleaning your house, you have to first expose the dirt before you can clean it up. That's what's happening in our world right now. But don't believe everything you see and hear. Search it out. Investigate it. Trust your own first reaction. That's your intuition talking. I believe that between now and the fall of 2024, we're going to be in that exposure period with only a minimal amount of cleanup. It's going to be difficult. There's a lot to swallow that we don't want to know. But it's important to keep your eyes open. My guides promise me that 2025 will mostly be about the cleanup as well. You can be sure that I'll be taking and talking more about the good new things that come in 2024 and 2025 when I do my What's Coming in 2025 Annual Predictions webinar online. If you missed the one that I did last year that predicted the year we're in right now, 2024, you can still listen to it. It's for sale on my website. And so far, it's been right on target. I expect that when my guides do the What's Coming in 2025 webinar in November, it's going to be just as accurate. I want to finish up this editorial by saying a few words about my Kabbalah Pathworking class that's going to begin in July. One of the best ways to deal with the stresses of our changing world is to find and embrace your own spiritual path. I've been able to help many thousands of people to do just that. And one of my very favorite tools that I recommend is my Kabbalah Pathworking class. It gives you a roadmap to higher consciousness and through pathworking, the guided visualizations that are set to music will help you to work through any stresses currently in your life and guide you to directly experience and attain that consciousness that you most aspire to embrace. This class is uplifting in many, many ways, and it's one of the most important classes that I teach. You can take advantage of the early enrollment discounts that are advertised next month and also this month right now. They're already on my website at www.sandyanastasi.com. Remember, I'm telling you about the path working because I know it's going to be an enormous help to all of us as we need to move into a new age with a new perspective about so many things. Thank you so much for being here and listening to my editorial video blog for May of 2024. I truly appreciate you. And once again, I want to wish every mother, every nurturer who's reading or listening to this or watching it, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.